Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. We are jumping in again and we are still running with the Epiphany characters. We're enjoying them quite a bit and I think this time we're going to do Eden because Eden's a pretty interesting one. If I remember correctly, Eden on this, uh, the the seaside, whatever you want to call Eden, this one, the Epiphany Eden, it's like, I can't remember what Debug does. Okay, let's let, let's see if we can read whatever the hell this is. So I think it's re-rolling every time we go into a room and I think we can use Debug to save an item to ourselves, if I remember correctly. But probably not. Yeah, save. Uh, so basically, if I pick something up and then press Q, I can save that item to myself. But every room, I'll have different items, which is kind of interesting. And also that. I forgot about that. Yeah, these uh, these corrupted Edens will, like, spread throughout the room and infect each other. Which I think is kind of a cool, like, additional idea on top of this version of Eden. I think this version of Eden is, is really, really interesting. But, yeah, I don't know how, how many items we're going to end up saving to ourselves, which ones are going to be best. Probably anything that's quality 3 or above we'll try and save to ourselves. Um, or anything that's like a big damage increase or something. But I think our, our stats also change every room as well. As for the question of the day, if you could reroll one of your stats, one of your personal stats, as in like your sort of charisma, your emotional intelligence, your actual intelligence, anything like that, what, what would be like something that you definitely want to reroll? I think for me, it'd just be my ability to deal, like, like my... I don't know what this would be. Would it, would it be constitution? My ability to deal with stress. And a constitution is kind of like being, not being able to get sick and stuff. Whatever it would be like stress. Like, I'm really, really, really bad with stress. Like, I, I'm a pretty chill guy and I can actually take quite a, like a decent amount of stress. But I will get to a point where it just overwhelms me and it's too much. And at that point, I just kind of have a bit of a breakdown. Um, and it happens like I, maybe like three or four times a year where I won't really get stressed about too much or I won't really have any sort of major reaction to stress and then all of a sudden it'll just be overwhelming. Uh, so this we can just take, we don't really care about this. But I think it'll keep re-rolling into a quality one item, right? I'm not sure exactly how that works. Ooh, jumper cables there. Good old jumper cables, I'd, I'd kind of like them. Um. Yeah, it just, I, I get to the point where it's just kind of, like, overwhelming. And I, I don't know, I, fi I can find stress really difficult to deal with sometimes. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's annoying. It's definitely annoying. I'm going to try this out, because I'm not going to have this active in a moment. I know this takes a while to blow up, but... Ah, I didn't think that was, but I thought I'd give it a go. Right, you guys are going to be mostly okay. What what we got going on here? I've got Ice Spore. Uh, I saw Ice Spore. Whip Worm in there. Lovely. Yeah, this version of Eden's absolutely wacky. The, the biggest problem with this version of Eden is it's like impossible to thumbnail. <laughs> it's same with um It's same with Tainted Eden. One of the worst parts about playing these characters on YouTube is they're impossible to create accurate thumbnails for. I feel like I'm always gonna be somewhat clickbaiting. So it can be a little awkward. That was I was really trying to push that troll bomb into these guys, and it blew up before I could. My bad. What's, why do I keep blinking red? What? What's going on with Slippy or whatever this item's called to make that happen? Do, 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 do. Unfortunately, there's no poops in here for my dirty mind to garner some before the boss. Oh well. What we got going on in here? We got the abacus. Abacus is one that I don't really know how best to use. Oh, I did use my magic pen there, which is kind of nice. I don't know if that creep does damage. I think it does. Okay, now that one's stunning creep. You can get behind that. That one's fire. Okay, so it's just different elemental creep. Dude! God damn it. Oh, gummy bear. Hell yeah. So I go like this and then do that. And now I get to keep gummy bear. Which is, as you can see, a pretty huge all stats up. So, gummy bear, as I said, quality 3, quality 4 things we want to be keeping. Right, one moment. I just have to take a real quick pause. Right, let's keep pushing forward. But yeah, this is a good setup. This is a good start. And having the gummy bear locked in is really, really, really nice for us here. Because that's a, a good amount of stats in every regard that we're going to keep throughout the entire run. I really, really like that. But yeah, how, how, that's another sort of, I won't say exactly call it question of the day, but sort of an addendum onto the question of the day. How are you guys at dealing with stress? Like, do you guys do okay with stress? Because for me, I just find it super difficult. Is there any way that I can get this? Oh, I can. Nice. I didn't know I could jump over those. It's good to know that how, how to jump works for this. I didn't expect it to. That's really nice. 
What a great item to randomly get for that room. <laughs> that was pretty lucky. We're going to be a while until we can refresh our charge on debug. It's going to be a little bit of, a little bit of time before we have that back up and running, unfortunately. But we can deal with it. Please don't walk into my, uh, into my wisps. I would like to keep those, please. Same with you. I'm not going to kill you until uh, I've killed everything else. Good, good. Wah, 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 wah. Spinny, spinny, spinny. We got that there as well. Um, I oh, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. There you go, baby. I was I was about to use a bomb on that, but absolutely no need. Absolutely no need. Um, ah, I was wondering if I could get in there so I could get the battery for this. Oh, it charged the wrong thing. Are you kidding me? I didn't think about that. Rainbow poop there is good to see. Spelunker's hat is another one I'd like to keep, but unfortunately don't have the charge. Like I should have done. God damn it, game. Like I should have done. The Spelunker's hat's very, very good. Even if we only have it for finding one secret room, it's, it's better than nothing. Okay. Check this out. I'll buy that because it's an item to have. And I guess I'll bomb my way into here. I know I could do it from the big room, but I'm really bad at correctly placing bombs when it comes to that. Okay. Back we go. Yeah, annoying that I can accidentally charge that instead. I'd rather it not, but... Ooh, I've got a uh, kidney stone here. Oh, 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 my lord. A lot going on there. You kind of need to assess your items. I got Plum Flute twice in a row there. Well, <laughs> he got demolished. Marvel's... I don't know if my trinket changes every room, but we've got a trinket now at least. Um, taking damage two times in one room applies weakness to all enemies. 20% chance to permanently destroy itself on activating the effect. Grants rotating list of effects and grants the white candle effect while held. Ooh. Ooh. While not typically the best... Oh god, I've just minimized my game. I can't see what's going on right now. I'm literally using my recording software to see what's going on. That was very annoying. Okay. I can grab this for free. <laughs> very nice. I kind of would have liked to have kept that one, but we'll take the rotating list of effects now. And we'll go to the next floor. Interesting trinket to grab there. I'd honestly be okay with maybe keeping that for longer, but it's just a bit risky. Noisy. Lovely. Yeah, I would have loved to have kept that one because that would be really, really good to be able to every item give us an additional uh, temporary item. You are in a very rough spot for me to attack. Okay, I keep getting Kidney Bean as well. Kidney Bean seems to keep coming back to us. Okay, why am I why am I flickering? I don't like that I'm flickering. Okay, I stopped after that room, good. We're getting some pretty doo-doo active items right now, aren't we? I mean I managed to kill him with that, so can't be that bad. Can't be that bad. I will come back to you if I grab a few more keys. We've got IV bag here. If I had more red hearts about, I'd probably utilize that too, but we don't. Item room, what are you going to be? Magic fingers. I mean, I have Book of Virtues right now, apparently. It's kind of nice. These are both quality ones, so it doesn't really matter, unfortunately. It's a bit unfortunate. We got warm. Oh! Didn't expect to get hit there. Uh, secret room is definitely here. Lovely. Why is there a bunch of shit falling on me? What is going on here? 
Jeer, thank you. I don't know what's going on in that room. There's a bunch of shit falling. I'm not quite sure why. There's still a bunch of shit falling. To do with one of the items we have, I guess. Confusing. Oh my god, what kind of noise was that? Let's be careful of our health here. It's not ideal for right now. Honestly, I might need to get rid of this trinket. This trinket is just causing weird effects that I don't understand and confusing everything. Confusing absolutely everything. Okay, good, good. We don't need to go back that way. Although, if we get more keys, we kind of do. Get you taken care of. Haha! -ha. Well, that is another key. It's probably worth it, right? It's probably worth it. Try and get a seventh key and open it up. It's annoying because those chests can take from one to seven keys. And every single goddamn time they take seven keys. Oh, to be fair, also, I need to refill that heart to even get into that room. And luckily, there is a refill over here. And there's also a shop that we can afford here, too. So we should probably go for that. Hmm, probably want to go for that. Oh, we got a golden slot machine here. Don't know what that's doing for us exactly. Okay, doesn't matter. We can't get in that room anyways. I've bungled it. And I spent a key as well. I forgot about that. Oh, dude, I do not like these hippity hoppity, jumpity, joppity little dip drips. Oh, can I stop getting hit, please? Ooh. Euthanasia. I will certainly take that. Oh, Soul of Lilith. Tiny Terma. Look at this little fella. He's all sleepy. I've not seen him before. Yeah, euthanasia seems like a good one to add on here. Right, I think we're just going. I think I've, I've bungled this a little bit. I think we're just leaving. Ooh, I'd love to make Dark Prince's Crown work. But the two items that we've got locked in so far, I'm reasonably happy with, to be honest. Um, euthanasia, really good. Gummy Bear for just some persistent stats is really nice. I'll pop this in the herb. Estrogen up. It does give us our uh, Dark Prince's Crown, but I don't think we'll have that next room, so that's not really that good for us. This is just put us in a position where I can easily die, because I get hit by this boss all the time. Luckily, we do have these little estrogen babies to help us out. Dude, I got hit there. God damn it. I didn't even know what hit me. Can we just kill him, please, before I die? Before I perish? Snake oil. Okay. Health, not too great. Not too great. The estrogen pill, kind of not the best for us. Am I, I'm in a slightly rough spot here. Ooh! The saving grace. Now only certain enemies and champions can kill me. We like that. We like that. Quickly pop in here. Not much to see there. What's the sleepy boy doing? I do I have to play like five at once into that guy? I don't know what Sleepy Boy's doing. Finally get an active back. Um, all of these are quality two apart from the Camo Undies one. Which is kind of weird that that would be the one. Cam Camo Undies effect? I don't know how this, this works. I'm going to have to try this out and see. Seems like not a great item for quality three. I mean, it's gone now anyways, so... Oh, that room's over. I was very confused about what was going on with that room, but it's the glasses just making noise when I pick up coins. We've got this little turd stool here, but that'll be gone momentarily. I can't pre-plan anything. I've got to remember that. We've got some lawn darts going on right now. It's kind of just sussing it out as and when the room begins, really no other way to do it. What does this shovel do? Passively spawns a special dirt patch in every secret room. If used elsewhere, um, bury all keys in the room. What? 
That's confusing. Killing enemies is a chance to spawn pisslings. We like pisslings. We like pisslings. Sentence didn't think I'd be saying today, but... Dude, can we stop it already with the goddamn active items? It's getting a little bit silly. Did get an item out of it at least. We once again get one of those. Oh, really? Not only an active item, but the poop. Not a good trade game. Not a good trade. Very disappointing. I guess we grab the scooper now. Go back. These actually, these guys aren't actually too hard to take care of, to be honest. Especially with the slowdown. Slowdown's actually very, very nice. Still need in need of HP. My HP is not great. Says we've got a broken heart in here somewhere. Oh, that's up there. Okay, I can't grab that yet. Didn't mean to use that, but we did. Meant to stop time, because that's what I had previously, and accidentally just threw a sharp key at a bunch of enemies. I mean, at least I threw at enemies and rather than just like throwing it at a wall accidentally. I did something useful with it in the end, at least. Debug is ready at the moment. What's going on in here? Don't know. I couldn't shoot for a little while without entering that room. Was that Taurus? Oh no, it was Camo Undies. What? I'm, I'm confused. That wasn't Camo Undies, was it? Oh, we, did, we did just heal off of Leech. We like that. <gasps> HP, baby. It's all coming together now. Okay, I think we should go for the boss here. Honestly, let's go back in this, this, this room here and grab one of these books. Red candle. Ooh, this guy's got a bomb above his head now. I like that. We've got Death's List there, which we're not going to be able to utilize, unfortunately. Red candle here is going to be pretty good, though. Good amount of extra damage. Yeah, this guy looks awesome. Three sprite of him is really good. And Bar of Soap is... It's pretty good, but I don't want to lock it in. It's pretty good, but I don't want to lock it in. Needs to be better than that to be locked in. Like I said, quality 3 or 4, I'll lock it in. Otherwise, you will not be locked down. You only end up locking in like 3 or 4 items across the whole run normally. With this guy anyways, it's not a lot. What we got here, Monstrous Lung? Yes. Monstrous Lung emerges. Now that's the pinnacle of success in Isaac. Monstro's Lung emerges. Okay, this is kind of gross, though. I do wish Monstro's Lung was like, um... Was like, what's it called? Uh... Cursed Eye. Where, or like Tech X. Where you could release it earlier for a smaller burst of shots. I think that would be a, a major, major upgrade to uh, the usability of Monstro's Lung. Because I really enjoy it, but it has... It does such a massive fire rate down. Common Cold... We got this room again, though. Ah, uh, oh wait, no, there's an item down there. Pretty interesting room. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Oh, that actually fucking killed that dude. <laughs> Get wrecked, boy. <laughs> unfortunately, our devil deal chance hasn't been the best. It's okay, though. Pisslings, are you doing much for me? Yeah, yeah, you're, 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 you're working it. You're working it. Boom. Explosivo perfectly timed there. Completely unintentional, but perfectly timed nonetheless. Tech 2. Nice. Ooh. I think we've got Taurus right now, because our speed is feeling rough. Yeah, we did. Okay, you might wonder why I just stood there and accepted that, but I've got a really itchy face right now. I'm trying to itch it while completing this room. 
It's not not advised. It's not advised. There's a heart in here. We should go grab that real quick. Dun, ba -dun, ba -ba -dun. Should we just go straight for our boss? We've seen our item room. Some purgatory ghosts in here as well. Can you, like, get off me, sir? Okay, this isn't doing too well. Soy milk marked. Not the highest damage we've ever done seen. This this boss is one of those bosses that he gets a lot harder the longer he, uh, the longer he is left unchecked, so... Not particularly enthused by how long he's living. Yeah, a bomb was necessary there. Oh, grab her. Please stop. How are you not dead? There you go. Alright, this has not been an easy run for HP. But we've been making our way through floors reasonably quickly, to be honest. It's not been awful. I don't know what the fuck is going on with our... With this little bar here. What the hell's this? Cardiac arrest, is it? Also, almond milk and soy milk seem to be pretty common for us right now. Not the best. Super magnet. I am happy for the fact that we keep getting pretty decent damage. Spider mod there was pretty useful. We could do a D8, but I don't know. The temptation of that, while high, the risk there is uh, maybe a little, uh, a little too risky. Trying to use the, the, the sword there. Do not like not having mapping here, but ooh. A random secret room opening. Wasn't expecting that. Why is why is it always this guy whenever I get an, a nice unexpected secret room? Oh, what the hell? A bunch of birdies came out the floor there. Alright, then I'm hoping they stick with us. I'm imagining they will. Right, yeah, I don't know where I'm going here. Can't remember if I've been to my item room because I don't know what item I would have got and if I'd still have it. Unfortunately, I did get soul uh, thingy here, but I don't have any soul hearts. Soul convert wouldn't have, right now would have been good. Devil deal chance, no! No, root beer, no. 8% chance to spawn a pagan tree soul when firing a tier. 100% chance at 43 luck. Ah, that's decent enough. Ooh. Lock it in. That's another one to lock right in. I think that did lock it in, right? I'm hoping it did. Yes, it did. Good. Okay. Hoping we're on the right track here. No real, no real way of knowing. Got the broken stopwatch and the stopwatch at the moment. Healthy, healthy, healthy. The thing is, we're not actually, like, taking too much damage in terms of, like, our health is staying high. Or high enough as relative to our total HP. But we're just, like, n never getting soul hearts to keep it safe. We got, there was a sheep. There's a sheep here? What item does, that gives us a sheep? I've not seen a sheep before. It has to be the right way. This is such a long track. Okay. How is this not the boss yet? What's going on here? There you go. Finally. Uh, Randy the snail just absolutely went ham there. <laughs> snail boy. You've done me proud.
We got a delirious heart active here. Rerolls Isaac's health. That's not very good. I just lost a red heart container for a single soul heart. I don't know what I expected, but I was expecting a conversion rate that was a little better. Okay. Well, this has been strange. Nothing there really interests me either. Down we go, I guess. Oh, this has been a wild ride so far, as it always is with a character like this. Why, whenever I enter a room, does my little grabber just disappear into nothingness? Even though, weirdly enough, I've just realised I don't have a little grabber. But I still have little grabber's limbs hanging on to the essence of my being. We got spurred randomly there. I doubt we'll keep spurred, but it was nice while it lasted. Is that it? Oh, I have to kill the red guys as well. Is this, a D is this the D1? Ah, shit. The spinny guys scare me. Oh, peppermint leaf. That thing really proved proved itself to us last time. I always knew it was good, but goddamn, the last run, that thing went absolutely crazy, so happy to see that involved. Cherry bomb there. That's what, those trinkets are really good, but they, like, Tinted Rock's late game are so rare to, to, like, find and to see. So it's kind of, like, not very good, because she always seems to find it too late. Damn it. I was really hoping that last room I got the uh, Rubik's Cube. If it had solved, it had solved into a quality 4 active item and given us much better uh, qualities of active items in the future. Oh god. Suplexing that guy is uh, not something that's uh, not for the faint of heart. That was weird. Hey, Euthanasia doing some good stuff. Don't really know what to think about that. It's gone now, so I don't have to think about it. Hey, we found the boss pretty quick. Good, good. Don't know what's going on with my tears here. I think I got Cricket's body in there somewhere. Yeah. Dead weight's in there as well. Oh, hello. That was kind of sneaky. Probably should have grabbed that, but it's okay. Oh, we got the emergy glasses for the boss fight, of course. Why wouldn't we? Okay, this guy's getting destroyed. Whatever we've got going on right now. Almond Milk again. I mean, Almond Milk with 4.17 da damage is kind of crazy, to be honest. 10 burn orbitals. Unfortunately, nothing here is too, uh, too great. What's this? Now nah, that puts on way too low health. I'd love to grab that, but I think one red heart, probably a little bit too risky even for me. <laughs> Especially on the wound. Can I not fire? Or am I just firing really, really slowly? I'm not seeing any of my tears. I'm not not a, not a fan of this setup. This this seems this seems horrible. I'm dealing damage almost exclusively with my little uh, my little brimstone because my tears are tiny and very very slow. And again. Whoa, what the hell? It's like sucking my tears back towards me, then launching them out. 
Oh, is it because I've got the model rocket here? Model rocket plus milk teeth is doing some weird shenanigans here. That was strange. But the last floor? Really powerful. This floor? I don't know. I've got a sheep back. We've got some amazing stuff in this room. I don't know if we could keep all of this. That room was chock a block. Look, look at that. We've got like a maculate heart. We got an uh, echo chamber in there. It was beautiful. Yeah, bomb that guy. GB bug giving us an extra key. Okay. Oh, ha ha. Horse pill balls of steel coming in clutch there. It's hard to keep track of what's going on in Mercer rooms here. Very hard to keep track. Oh, you guys are all getting stuck. Uh, immaculate room design there. <laughs> Come on, please take us straight to the boss. I would be indebted to you. Peppermint's back once again. Why do we get soy milk so often? <laughs> there we go. And I fire it so poor every time. At least let's keep the magician here. Emergy glasses once again. People people meme on the emergy glasses, but it's a really good item. Multiple different effects for each different type of tier. They can do some real damage. Up we go. Yeah, they can do some real damage. Yeah, this this character's this character's something else. Again though, this is another one where it's a is it's an interesting evolution of what we already had with the Edens that existed. I did get hit there, unfortunately. I feel like, like, just every floor, my tears have just gotten worse and worse. Amplifies uh, or changes book activation effects. Ooh, book of all books. Any book active used will now be buffed. I can double buff them. Not that I'm going to keep a book for long. i got Pyro right now. Might as well take advantage. There you go. Just heal a full red heart. Whoa, what the hell kind of charger are you? He just keeps doing the same attack over and over again. I can get down with that. The black heart, lovely. All oh, right, please take us the right way. Yeah, damage has, has just been pretty suboptimal, dude. What in the flippity flip is going on right now? Our damage has been pretty suboptimal this whole run, really. Was that good? I'm like upgrading and downgrading enemies at the same time by the looks of things, because it's a ghost. It keeps fucking disappearing. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Look at that thing. Um, there's a soul heart here that I for some reason cannot pick up. I'm unsure as to why that is. I'm going to go back into that room after I've done this room and see if I can pick it up then. Yeah, I can pick it up now. Must have been something to do with the items I had. Oh, we have a burn? We have a forgotten burn. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Whoa! Did you hear that noise? There's like a million children dying all at once. Didn't like it. Oh, I'm getting chased by the little thing that's going to lock me in. No thank you, no thank you.
Oh my god, why is it still chasing me? I've also got knives falling down. I don't even know what enemies left in this room. Is there anything? No, I think I'm good. Of course, I go the wrong way. What active is this? I'm very confused what's going on right now. Who knows? What, what active is that? I, I wanted to test it out, but I was scared it might be Plan C. <laughs> I don't think it was, but... It's a red pill, so... Eh, to be fair, it probably was Plan C. <laughs> Did not want to take that risk. Oh, we got Spirit Sword. Wasn't expecting that. Ow. I've got rickety. I'm like, why do I keep moving? But it's because I got the rickety, uh, whatever it's called, like rickets, rickety rickets. Okay, I've been taking a lot of bad damage here. Okay, we got what's it called? Anti grav. Parasitoid is kind of nice here. Crucifix shots. We've not really got a, a whole lot of good here, to be honest. Libra is kind of. Bringing our damage up a little bit, but overall, this is pretty pants. Honestly, this has not been an amazing run overall when it comes to uh, Tarnished Eden. But we've had fun. We've had fun. It's been weird. We've seen some interesting little builds. But these last few floors have been significantly worse for some reason. These last few floors have been significantly worse. I mean, I'm just glad we got the items locked in that we did, to be honest. Stopwatch and stuff being pretty good. The slow mo, the the, sl the the watch actually makes that a little harder, to be honest. Come on, we can kill him faster than this. It's gonna be so long before we get him now. I wish I had bombs. I'd speed this up quite a bit with bombs. Oh, we got him, we got him. The belch. I got in there with the belch, and that does quite a lot of damage, actually. I don't really use that that often when I get it, but... I suppose, normally in the late game, you don't have this lower damage, so it's not as necessary. Good old Virgo. See, these are the tiers we want. Although, yet again, soy milk or... Yeah, soy milk. Soy milk builds, that whenever we get soy milk, it seems to be the way to go. What in the fuck is going on in this room? I'm launching ridiculously high up tiers, and I think... It's Ipecac. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> that room just ruined me. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. A lot of fun playing that character. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.